This is your host, Klaus Alderos Spell, and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. In the last episode, we took down Scorch and Fracture Hills. And in this episode, we are returning to Glimmer to basically finish it up once and for all. Now, when we're going to be revisiting the world, I'm going to have to be re-killing all the enemies that are last time. And a lot of you are probably saying, hey, Klaus, why haven't you uh, joined... Why haven't you just finished it off the first time you were here? And that's just because, well, for Glimmer, you actually need the ability to climb to to be able to get everything in this level. So I just thought, why do absolutely everything all at once? Thought it would be a, you know, more quick run if I just skipped through most of the levels and got everything I needed for... Glimmer and all the others before doing it all in one fell swoop. Ooh. I'm sorry, I love those guys. Sound. He screams "Hey!" before he hits you. It's a very good idea for a standard boss like that. Well, not even boss, standard enemy like that, beginning enemy like that. Tutorial. Tutorial is the word I wanted. Now, see right here. There's. There's just a ladder, you can't progress without it. Even a small jump like that, you could not do. I've tried everything. Anyway, let's talk to him. Hey! Great! You've got the Superfly power-up active. Now you can light the gem lamps in this cave. Yep. So our first order of business is to use a power-up, and I think this is our first time ever using a power-up. I don't actually remember. But pretty much the Superfly power-up allows you to fly infinitely, and we're and our job is to pretty much blast all these lanterns up here with fire. That's all there is to it. And I hope I can get it my first time. Come on... Yeah! I missed one, so I was kind of afraid. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spiral. For a while, I was afraid we were going to have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, somebody mix this orb in with a baseball. Like I know what an orb is. So pretty much, yeah, we're going to be getting a lot of those things. Those mystical objects that we don't truly know much about. Yeah, except for the fact that they powered the super portal. Otherwise, we don't know too much. Heck, I, I don't even see any source of energy coming from them. I guess we're just supposed to assume it's magic and, you know, progress with our lives. And to be honest, that is good enough for me. Honestly, it's a kid's game. I'm not going to get too worked up about what to collect. At least it's collect- like, at least there's a reason we're supposed to collect them. I've seen a lot of games where it's just like, Hey, why don't you collect these because we say so. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times I've seen that. I'm trying to think of an example off the top of my head, but no, I- I got nothing. And I guess I forgot to actually talk about this area back here. There's an area behind the exit portal that has a lot more to do with this area. And I think it starts up... This is also where we can start up the next two uh, missions. I guess I'll call them. Great! The Superfly power-up is active and you can restart our gem lamp! Just like, just like the last time. Except this time we're not in a cramped building area. I don't even know why this one is a two. This one's a one star and the other one's two. It's the exact same thing. Maybe it's because these are easier to see slightly. Yeah. For the most part, that difficulty system does work, in my opinion, anyway. And six. Thanks for helping me light the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You. So, actually, you're giving... You're giving me something that... You don't even know if it has a worth or not. Instead of actual payment. Hey, here, take this item that I'm not sure you actually enjoy, but it's all I have. 
Because I'm cheap like that. Plus, why did a fairy even give that guy an orb? Ah, I'm overthinking things again. I need to stop. I need to say something funny. Got nothing. Eh. Story of my LPs. Moving up here. I know you don't technically need the Superfly to get up there. I just like using it. I love the Superfly power up. Probably one of my favorites. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. And here we are. It's supposed to be the tutorial of how to shoot things. Yeah, you can't actually fly up there to shoot the lizard because it will just burrow down into its hole. Oh, I could have sworn that would have been all the gems. Am I missing one? Shoot, don't you just hate when that happens? Missing all but a single gem. That's gonna drive me crazy. Alright, I gotta follow this guy, huh? Screw the whirlwind! Ha! You can spit pretty far, Spyro! Why did you say that like I could... Why'd you say that like you already know? But yeah, that is how you're gonna handle most projectiles in this game. Alright, what now, buddy? To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press and hold the triangle button to Breaking the fourth wall! Breaking the fourth wall! Okay. Oh, I even had that. Ah, screw you, lizard man! Sheesh. I guess I'm only good at shooting at long distances away. Oh, come too far. This is supposed to be a one-star mission. Die. It's not even satisfying when I kill them. This or better be worth it. I, I didn't mean to. I don't want the talisman. I want to kill lizards. Maybe that will make me feel good about myself. Yeah, I get it. You already told me this. You don't think I'd remember it? I've been using these things the entire time I was here. Hmm. I am going to go crazy if I can't find that. Isn't there like a special guide... Yeah. No, no, I could have just looked back there. There are seven mm -hmm. gems I'm missing. Okay, where am I supposed to shoot it up? Okay, I'll just take it with me. You're gonna die. Hmm. Yeah, I get it. Head up the ladder. Thank you. Hmm. It's probably a two and a five somewhere around here. Hmm. <laughs> oh well. I'll just keep following him. Maybe I'll find it. Okay, here's this guy. Now where's my friend? Buddy? Oh, I gotta wait for him. Come on. One step, two step. Red step, blue step. Is your light actually changing color? I thought it was red the first time I saw it and now it's orange. Oh, too many questions. No! Oh, you son of a lizard. Yeah! 
Hmm. Wonder if I left any up here. Nope, it looks like I got them all. This is going to drive me through the roof. Luckily, at least I'm doing this while I'm at it. So I have justifiable rage right now. How do you get up there? I mean, you don't have the super fly power up, and it doesn't look like you burrow a dang tunnel all the way up there. Yay! You saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here. I guess I'm a great exterminator. I think you just broke it. Okay, so that's all the orbs of this level, but I'm wondering where the gems are. I think I'll just cut to when I get the gems, but... Actually, that depends on how soon I get them. Hmm. I bet you it was outside. I'm not exactly sure where, but I just bet it's out here. Ow. If I were a tiny little gemstone, where would I be? I'd be flying high, maybe in a tree. Oh. Okay, that's that's my five. There's still two left. There's still two left! This cave. Yep. All right, that settles that. We completed Glimmer, and I think I'll complete another one. So, on our way. I don't get how the portals work. One side okay, the other one not. Did we get this cutscene the first time? I don't remember this one. Hmm. Something interesting. Well, now we have three orbs in our possession, and we have all the treasure of Glimmer. Let's head on to the next location, which I believe was Idle Springs. I'll take care of Summer Forest after I take care of all the main levels. Don't worry, guys. I have not forgotten anything here. You know, except for where gems are. I kind of forgot where that. I mean, Glimmer, I mean. Eh. One, 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 one. Yes. Alright. First things first, let's head underwater. This one's the most irritating, in my opinion. Underwater levels, I mean. Not, not the orb I'm about to get. That's not really irritating if you know what you're supposed to do. Alright, that's everything. I'm not gonna come back here going, Oh, why did I miss those? No? Okay. Up we go! Yeah! So as you can see here, secret room under the secret lake. That wasn't very secret. What's up, buddy? I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idol heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. Well, that's unfortunate. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Okay. Now there's a very simple way to answer this puzzle, and let's see if I remember it correctly. I did pretty much the thing I was not supposed to do. Now let's try it the way I am supposed to do. I swear, I always do that. I think if you just jump on all these. Yeah, if you just jump on all four corners wow. once, then you Why got it. I mean, I knew you could do it. Now, uh, the I'm always the so challenge. forgetful. Okay. Dive! 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 And I think I already used that before in this LP, and I don't care! And you got here really fast. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he swallowed ten fish 
He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you I remember playing this as a kid and have no idea what he meant by he's got a sensitive stomach. Pretty much what we're supposed to do here is insert uh, either blue or yellow fish, or I mean blue or orange fish into his mouth, and do not uh, shoot a red fish into his mouth, or else we're going to regret it and be here all day. No! We're going to be here all day, aren't we? It's going to subtract three fish from his mouth. Oh, I could have given him that. Yeah! You know, I actually prefer sushi myself over the dragon broiled. Ah! Screw you, buddy! Oh, I'm so inclined to finish this super fast that I... Um, I have a trigger finger right now. Oh, come on! That so made it in. Don't make this any longer than it needs to be, game. Uh, there we go. I feel so bad for these fish that actually don't get in because I just, like, scorch them a bit. Plus, what is making these fish jump up here like this? It's kind of suicidal. Hey, dragon, look at me! Hey, dragon, look at me! Oh, God, why did you... I mean, it doesn't really seem, you know, all that ethical to be doing this, fish. Ha! Ah, nearly shot you. You too. Oh, my gosh. Too late. I'll admit that one. You got off easy. You only had minor burns and probably okay, Spyro, a lot worse pain. I'll meet you over by the college stones for your final challenge. Yeah, we'll get those. Uh, pretty much we'll grab that later. We have to make it through the actual level again. We can never have it easy, can we? Hmm. By the way, what are those things? Bugs? I hate bugs. Ha! Headbutt. Never headbutt a dragon. I think that's logic we all can stand by. Alright. Boom! Okay, you break that while I break him. I think I'm gonna need about... 10 enemies dead. Ah! Oh, no! He's the Marshmallow Man! Take that, Marshmallow Man! You shall not... Oh, come on. I was not in your way. You can walk around me! Ah! Uh, why does... Why are they even holding fire? You think wooden idols would be, you know, a little bit smarter than this? It's up to you to figure the rest out. Yeah, and pretty much, we're s I don't get how this is difficulty three. We're just supposed to find something in common between the others. This one was blue, so we have to do blue. This one was a triangle shape, so let's jump on that triangle shape. I believe that one had a moon crescent in it. This one has a moon crescent in it. That one's... That one's orange, this one's orange. And lastly, that one's an octagon, and this one's... Or, no way... Yes, octagon. I nearly thought it was a hexagon. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. All I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. This thing that I have no idea how much it's worth. So it could be absolutely nothing for all of your hard work. We could not live without you, but we might be paying you nothing. Sounds about right. Okay. Moving on, we have to head back. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember what I have to do next. Oh, that's gonna be a bundle of fun. Wonder how many times it's gonna take me to perform this next one. And how long is this video going on, man? We're already 19 minutes 40 seconds in. According to this, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's not too bad if I make a 25 minute episode. This is kind of why I didn't want to do all the orbs up front because then every single level would take forever and I just 
I wanted to get the talismans out of the way. That way I can just show all the extra stuff later and people can just skip over uh, these episodes that they're not really interested in seeing. Wait, why would you skip my episodes? No, come back, I'm worth... No, I'm not worth it. I, actually, I don't know. I, I usually bash myself down a lot in these videos. I don't know. I guess it's how I am in real life, too. People tell me I do need to be a little bit more upbeat. Eh, they might be crazy, they might be right. Okay, so let's see, let's deal with this guy. It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. How do you know now me? Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. What? What? Why don't they just get off those pedestals? Why do I need to do this? Anyway, introducing the new power-up, Supercharge! A very difficult to control device that... Ah, oh, crap! Ah, pretty much you have to get them all in one continuous motion, so I'm going to be doing this for a lo long time, and I don't know why I seemingly talk to fa- Yeah! Oh my gosh, the first time I Oh man, second try, really? <laughs> Alright then! I just remember playing this part like, I don't know, 20 times. I thought for sure I was going to have to edit this video because of that. Nah, so far I'm not editing anything. The hula girl's rain dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. How do you know this? Ah, uh, oh well. I ask too many questions that this game cannot possess. Anyway. Hula girls that can, you know, cast lightning. Hula girls cast Thundaga. Okay? I'm perfectly... I am accepting every single fact of that. I mean, heck. My, I can't... I've never... N I've never not seen a hula girl blow up a scary idol thing. No, I don't want it. I don't know. I can't skip. I know I have the talisman already. I guess you just really wanted to reuse that talisman animation. I mean, how many days do you think they get to use that, actually? Huh. I guess it is justifiable. All right, then. You carry on your talismany showing off -y ways. Swimming, and that leads back here, which... Ah, uh, no. I need to find the path up, and I think I just remembered where, and I should have gotten it earlier. Ah, oh, shit. Now I'm gonna have to run all the way back here while continuing commentary. That's not very good, but still watchable, I suppose. Ah. <sighs> A lot of this game is just knitting, nitpicks, collecting 100% stuff. And in the end, I do suppose that some of it, it that the 100% prize, and there is, there is a prize for getting every single gem and every single orb and every single everything. There is a prize for this. Is it worth it? I'll let you guys decide because, well, I don't think I'm an appropriate judge for that. Okay, now let's see. I think I can just fly over here. Yeah, th you, you can't imagine how shocked I was when I found this whole location for the first time. And lastly, I think that leads to everything. I shall race you, Rocket! Oh, oh, no! What? This is a terrible idea! Why did I think standing next to an explosion was a great idea? Alright then, that's everything. Dun 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 dun! Oh, yeah, that feels nice. With all... With all five... With our collection of five orbs, all finished in Glimmer and in Idle Springs, I think we're going to end the video off here, folks. Next time on Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, we're going to be heading back to... 
Colossus and... Hmm, I forget the next one. Hercos? Eh, we'll find out when we get there. This has been your host, Klozara Spell, signing out.